Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here with a cryptocurrency technical analysis. We'll be looking at some of the major coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP and also some smaller coins that could be a potential trade. So guys, I'll be looking at some key resistance and support levels, some potential buy or sell setups and I'll be talking, giving you my thoughts on the cryptocurrency market. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, I'll start off with Ethereum as Ethereum has been the main bull in this recent uptrend. If you can call it an uptrend, it, it still hasn't changed the daily daily pattern yet so it's still not formed a higher low and a higher high ethereum is potentially forming it now but we'll have to wait for a close above it to be saying that it is a change of daily trend it's still not changed the daily trend yet so what am i what am i looking at for ethereum guys Ethereum is forming a double top. If you have, if you follow me on Twitter, guys, um, there's been some really good potential, really good signals from me. You can see it. I mean, it, Tron broke out 30 minutes after I posted um, when I was buying. Um, I posted about Ethereum as well. I'll find out when I posted it. I, I posted it a couple of days ago. If you had bought it, then uh, you should be sitting on some nice profit. Uh, let's have a look when I posted it. So this is when I posted it on uh, Ethereum, guys. So go check it out, guys. If you don't follow me on Twitter, guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Tron one, I posted it on second of Jan, and I tried to give you guys update um, on my trading plans. What I'm trading, it's easier to update you guys. So make sure you follow me on on Twitter. So that was when we were 149. That was the 2nd of Jan and I've posted previous charts as well. So make sure you follow me on Twitter guys. So now it's forming a potential double top again. Um, RSI you can see there's a divergence there. So it, I, I see it coming down. I don't see it, it's going to break out. It's it had a massive uptrend. It should it needs some consolidation, guys. And we need to look at Bitcoin as well. And then I'll show you another key thing that I look at. It's the Bitcoin and Ethereum chart. If you look at the Bitcoin and Ethereum chart, it is near the daily 200 moving average that is a key level and its previous resistance as well. So I think Ethereum can consolidate or kind of pull back slightly and bitcoin can gain some ground i would expect ethereum to still pull ahead um because ethereum uh, with the with the fork news the news is a front it's a fundamental news driven uh push as well for ethereum with the hard fork or sorry the fork ethereum fork that's going on so with that news guys ethereum is definitely the stronger coin out of most of the bitcoins so I still think Ethereum will go up, but it can pull back now before it goes higher again. One thing about Ethereum is there's not much resistance, guys. Um, Ethereum, if it breaks out, Ethereum, as the fall was so sharp, there's not much resistance uh, for Ethereum. Let's go into Ethereum dollar there's not much resistance because the drops were so sharp if it can break the double top i see it breaking through here and it could potentially uh, target that zone um about the 200 level so again that's a very optimistic goal i'm not saying it will happen we'll have to see how the price action plays out but ethereum has given me some good profits i've taken most of my position of i still own some um but i expect it to break down and i'll, I'll exit if it kind of breaks below this level but i see it to pull back around that level so that's the analysis on Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, guys. Bitcoin, I'll keep it short and simple, guys. Bitcoin, I think, will could gain some ground. Um, it has this massive resistance there. I see it. If it follows what Ethereum did, it should kind of get to around that level if it breaks above it. So this is kind of what I'm looking at, guys. But it needs to break above this trend line and also the horizontal trend uh, so resistance. Those are very, very strong resistance, guys. It's better than looking at indicators. The the resistance level where price action um, has been or uh, uh, zones the the key zones are very, very important in trading. If you learn those, guys, you'll be in good health when you're trading. So that's just a quick thing on um, update on uh, Bitcoin guys again we've not formed higher lows and higher highs on the daily so trend hasn't changed so make sure you're quick to take your profits but it has been a good ride I've been trading heavily past few days it's a weekend and I'm still trading I've been trading old coins as well um, because when Bitcoin Ethereum are steady are going up uh, some old good old coin setups 
could give you some profits so let's look at xrp guys xrp again most of the coins guys especially bitcoin and xrp they're very tight consolidations we can expect to break i'm not sure where which way it will break out um again uh, I, I like xrp i'm not an xrp hater the moving averages are jumbled up so it could potentially break to the upside but again wait and see where it breaks out and then trade it so i'm not trading xrp at the moment very tight consolidation i expect to break out soon um maybe within the next couple of days uh, bitcoin as well guys is still in a consolidation zone as you can see it's not really broken out so expect both of them to break out soon um xrp btc chart guys um again i made videos previously talking about buy xrp hodl xrp instead of bitcoin because xrp was in an upward trend and if you had followed it you should be sitting on some good profit again this is not financial advice guys you need to do your own analysis but you could have made some uh, good money um so xrp is holding this support is is it, could it break out it's tried to break this level a few times it's failed so we'll have to see how xrp btc acts but it's above the moving averages so it could potentially go higher but it needs to break this very strong with a horizontal resistance so this is what i'm looking at for xrp guys xrp could potentially uh, start coming in and playing but we've seen xrp has been the main bull recently um because it's in september it was it, it was flying compared to every other crypto cryptocurrency and that trade probably one of was what was one of my better trades last year so xrp needs to hold this level and break out if it doesn't then it will probably come down and they will need to hold this support because after that um it's not looking pretty for xrp and and since ethereum all the attention is back to ethereum now xrp is not doing as well so keep an eye on keep an eye, uh, eye out let me start again keep an eye out for um, xrp for the potential breakout um litecoin guys Again, I few people on Twitter that I know are selling their Ethereum and buying Litecoin, um, and I can see why they're doing it, guys. Litecoin hasn't seen much upside. It's again tight consolidation, guys. It's not really broken out. Um, it's in this zone, so we'll have, we'll see which way it breaks out. But it's above the moving averages. That's a key thing that people look out for. It's above the moving averages, so it can potentially break out. If it breaks out with strong volume, we could expect. Uh, litecoin to potentially get get to the 50 range i'm not saying it will because it will have some resistance around here but it could target the 200 moving average it's now finding resistance at the 236 fib level again some people i i like to use fibonacci to help me support my trading plans again price action is king but you can see how the 236 level has held its own and it jumped perfectly of the 618 level so you can see how fibonacci works so those are the main coin guys um some of the coins that i've been trading massively guys tron is a coin that i've been trading massively i posted this chart with an arrow going up um and it played out really well guys I, I posted it like a couple of days ago and again i'm i'm really transparent guys i post everything that i'm trading guys um icon is another coin that i like and i posted exactly when i was buying the 698 level let's have a look at icx guys so again icx is doing quite well guys if you had bought again this is not financial advice make sure you do your own analysis before buying but it was a very very good setup and i tried to explain myself as well why i'm doing it iota didn't work out i got stopped out again i don't win all my trades i'm very transparent guys but tron was a brilliant brilliant trade guys um icx was a good trade and um, now some of the coins that i'm looking at again ethereum i posted it last night some of the coins that i'm looking to buy now guys and um, bitcoin and ethereum xrp you need to keep an eye out for these three uh, the big players guys because especially bitcoin and, and bitcoin is king still so make sure you look out for bitcoin but keep an eye out for the major coins eos i um litecoin see what they are doing as well some of the coins that are looking good is these five coins icx and tron i've talked about guys icx is a breaking previous highs it's above the moving averages it can go higher and higher if bitcoin carries on so make sure that you keep an eye out for bitcoin if you hadn't bought icx guys there could be some potential buys in the um in the four hourly guys again this is these are the levels that i bought you can see guys these are some of the key levels that, that I, I, um, I, I tried to buy 
you could wait for it to pull back to the moving averages guys and then see the breakout look at I mean I'm gonna use my RSI to tick above but you can see it's very toppy guys and I can see some consolidation some divergence here as well so it's not the time to buy but it could give you potential another entry around the 236 level Tron is probably the same Tron is still going strong but again it's, it looks toppy to me and um, it does look quite toppy so we'll have to see how they play out but what I like about Tron uh, what I'd want Tron to do is close above this level is same with ICX if they can close above the previous high and um, it would be very bullish whereas ICX you can see that it, it did that it, it closed above its previous high which is which is very very in a good indicator this is what I want to see in Ethereum as well close above the previous high. Ethereum needs to close above 160 on Coinbase price so those are ICX and Tron they're still good keep an eye out for them ADA and um, I posted ADA let's have a look at ADA quick ADA quickly um, AD again it's looking good it's in the, its nearest resistance could it break higher this is what we're looking to see if we can do it and um, you could you could buy on the breakout volume is decreasing good consolidation if volume picks up go on the lower time frames and try to time your entry so this is what I'm looking at for ADA it could be a potential trade Um Ardor they've moved up quite highly I think PVX and Ardor Oh, you can see, guys. They they probably ran away too far for us to get in. But keep an eye out for them. Look at the volume, guys. Beautiful volume. Again, I didn't I didn't take this trade. Um, it was looking quite good. Um, great consolidation, kind of cup and handle pattern here. So Ardor was looking great. I missed Ardor, but you could look to trade this again um, on the breakout if it breaks the previous high so it's looking quite good Ardor guys but do not FOMO in now do not FOMO in that's the worst thing that you can do please do not FOMO in there's gonna be more setups you win some you lose some guys and the mo important thing is to win more than you lose or when you win you have a big win Pivx guys again is consolidating and it moved up already I was looking at this trade when I posted it when did I post it Digital. Let's have a look when I posted it. Posted it. Posted this about an hour ago, I think. So you can see it is breaking higher slightly since since I posted it. It is moving up. So that could have been a decent entry buy entry, but wait for it to see how it happens. I mean, RSI is not looking that great, so it could probably double top and consolidate like the other coins. So that's just a quick analysis guys I will be doing this analysis a lot more and follow me on Twitter guys I've been uh, I have been a bit quiet uh, since last year I've not really been posting I've been enjoying my Christmas and New Year but I'm back again and I'll be doing a lot more technical analysis and I'll be very transparent giving you the trades that I'm taking giving you signals that potential setups letting you know what letting you know which coins to look look for I'm not going to tell you buy this buy that although I'm, I'm going to be telling you what I'm looking at and what I'm buying please do your own research search before buying but you can make some potential profits I'll be talking about some equity markets as well when crypto is quiet I trade equities and forex so I'll be posting them as well so make sure you follow and subscribe to me guys that there's some big big things coming on this channel guys and I'll be putting a lot of effort into this channel and one thing is guys it's all free guys um, not charging you anything so make sure you support me back by subscribing retweeting and following me on twitter guys and hopefully this helps you guys but not many people do this and um, they usually charge you to be part of their community or whatever guys i'm doing everything for free so hopefully guys you enjoy it and find this helpful and if cryptocurrency breaks out like they do um i, I think it will break out i'm not saying it will break the 20, 2000 levels but i see cryptocurrency coming back very strong so we'll see if it can break out if it does break out guys we could be in with some great profit so let's see how it plays out Thank you very much for uh, watching this video guys, if you have enjoyed it, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Also guys forgot to mention, I'm doing this $250 worth of XRP giveaway guys, so if you want to win that guys make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button and leave your XRP address below. So thank you very much for subscribe, uh, watching this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.